Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and today we are reacting once again to South Park. It's the third episode of the first season and it's called Volcano. Let's see how this goes. Now you be careful, Eric. The woods can be very dangerous. Okay, Mom. Ready to go hunting, Carmen? Yeah, my Uncle Jimbo says we gotta get up there early. Right, Uncle Jimbo? That's right, Stanley. Animals are much easier to shoot in the morning. Here, hon. I packed you some cheesy boofs and happy tarts. Don't worry, Miss Carmen. We'll take good care of them. I cannot help but picture Ned in my head singing Creep from Radiohead and masturbating to Scott Dennerman's late mother. Hello, Mrs. Cartman. How are you today? Oh, this is where Be Ned sure is introduced, to use right? Lots of bug spray, and if you have to poo poo, don't wipe with poison ivy. <laughs> Dude, that's sick, man. And I know it can get scary up in those woods, but just remember, mommy's not far away. <laughs> God, God! You give your mommy a kissy. God, God, I God! Just remember this, Eric. Mom and five other distinguished African American guys are not very far away. <laughs> Don't get scared up in the mountains, Cartman. Shut up! I'm not scared of nothing. Maybe your mom can give me a kiss too, Cartman. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. Ew, piece of crap. I'll kill you. That's the spirit, boys. Let's get that testosterone flowing. Now, boy, boys, I, I need to get serious for a minute. I want you to understand a few basic rules of hunting since this is your first time. First of all, don't ever walk with your gun unless the safety's on. Second, don't shoot anything that looks human. And third, never spill your beer in the bullet chamber. Uh, Uncle Jumbo, we don't drink beer. You what? Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't think eight-year-old kids drink beer. In Moldova, this is usually the age when you stop drinking. And then you start again at 11. I like chocolate milk! Well, we'll be doing plenty of drinking on this trip. After all, hunting sober is like... fishing sober. It sure will be nice to get out of the city for a while. Away from civilization. <laughs> the goofy animations. Well, here we are. <laughs> Okay, each bad. of you youngins take a gun, a beer, and some smokes. Hey, I didn't get a gun. Sweet. <laughs> this is like the gun I used in Nam. You were in Vietnam, Cartman. Wait, that's an M4, where right? Where stationed in the name? Cartman always makes stuff up, Ned. You can't believe anything he says. Hey, I'll blow your freaking head off. <laughs> what a disgrace giving a kid a gun like that. Give him a fucking Kalashnikov. Hey, look out, son. That's dangerous. You gotta spill your beer. My Uncle Jimbo says that after this, he's gonna take me hunting in Africa. That wow, face is cursed. That'd be cool. My mom says there's a lot of black people in Africa. <laughs> Boy, looky there. That there's a Rocky Mountain black bear. You see, I was onto something with my assumption that they are not so far away. And probably having a lot of fun. One of the few remaining Please of its kind. Don't. Isn't Please it beautiful? Don't. You see, boys, the Democrats have passed a lot of laws trying to stop us from hunting. Democrats piss me off. They say we can't shoot certain animals anymore unless they're posing an immediate threat. Before we shoot something, we have to say, it's coming right for us. <laughs> wow, you're smart, Uncle Jimbo. Jimbo, look. Oh, it's a deer. Looks like about a 46 gauge, Ned. <laughs> it's coming right for us! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a 46 gauge? I'm not quite educated when it comes to guns, sorry. I can only recommend you 46 gauge strings for your guitar. I was in peril by that ferocious charging buck. True. Mm, rabbit, rabbit, five o'clock. <laughs> Let's move! move! <laughs> Is this hunting? I guess so. Ah, uh, dude, I'm starting to have flashbacks. What? Stand forth, pull up flank. Look out for Charlie's up in the trees. This one's yours, Dan. Well, it's fair coming enough. Right for us. It's coming right for us. Fair enough. Look at this. Look at this. You're not supposed to kill cute bunnies, but this one. Have a go. Shoot it, Stan. I got your back, soldier. I can't. What the? What's wrong with you? I don't want to shoot the bunny. What the hell are you talking about? You don't want to shoot the bunny. You're babbling. <laughs> You're not making any sense. You're hysterical. <laughs> I'm not hysterical, I just don't want to shoot the bunny. No doubt your mind is going to be a tree hugger. Yeah, hippie. Go back to Woodstock if you can't shoot anything. What does it mean you don't want to shoot the bunny? It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> shoot, 
shoot you, fat ass. I can shoot you too. I'll kill you. I'll fill you full of lead. Hey, what's that? <laughs> What, what's wrong? What's wrong with his face? What's wrong with Randy Mars face? Where did that extra chromosome come from? Even the kids, they didn't change that much when compared to later seasons. What the heck is this? Yeah, Frank, it's uh, Randy. Uh huh? Good. Yeah, listen, the, uh, the little needle is moving. <laughs> yeah, it's going back and forth really fast. What does that mean? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me check. Yeah, it's smoking. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> A volcano! He's still not as specially gifted as Barb Brady, but... God damn. <laughs> Reminds me a bit of uh, Soviet people at Chernobyl. This wood won't burn. Well, Dad, looks like we'll have to use the old Indian fire trick. Mm, yeah, burn. <laughs> hey, stop, drop, and roll, Dad! <laughs> Whoa! God damn it, Dad, I just got that bad. How the hell are we supposed to get home? Mm, oh, it hurts, it hurts. Mm. Hey, you guys, this works pretty good right now. When you're missing a hand, you have an obvious advantage because 5% of your body is missing and therefore it is easier to put out a fire. What a lucky bastard. But you see, Mr. Mayor, you can't stop serving Salisbury steak in our public schools. What's next? Meatloaf? We are quite aware of your concerns, Chef, but... Mayor, the geologist is here to see you. My geologist? Now? Tell him the infection is fine and I don't need another checkup. No, Mayor, that's a gynecologist. A geologist studies the Earth. And I thought that the initial joke was shit, but then they had to specify the difference between gynecologist and geologist. You get it? You get out of my office! I'm not in your office, Mayor. I'm talking to you through a speaker. <sighs> that's strike Just number one, South Park. Strike geologist. number one. You are fired, buddy! Thank you, Mayor. It's been great working for you. Mayor, we have got a very big problem. Mount Evanston is about to erupt. Music. What does this mean to the town? Well, this graph shows everything from normal to bad. Right now, South Park is here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think after every joke of mine, I'm gonna use that sample. I'm gonna use that sample. Tell me, what could be worse than biting an apple and finding a worm inside? The Holocaust. Oh, this is big. Johnson, Johnson, are you there? Uh, you just fired Johnson, Mayor. I'm his replacement, Ted. Ted, we have got a major crisis here. I want you to get on the phone and call Inside Edition, Rescue 911, oh, and Entertainment Tonight. You better get my stylist on the phone, too. Don't worry, <sighs> things are under control. Don't forget about Geraldo. And then, Ted picked up the grenade and boom! Blasted his arm clear off. We spent three hours looking for that damn arm, but it was never to be found. Some say it's still crawling around to this day. I even know what Ned's nickname was in the army. Private Pile. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> That's not scary. You were scared, Cartman. You almost peed your pants. Shut up. I didn't pee my pants. Hey, Ned, happy that gin. <laughs> you boys want to tie one on? No, no thanks. That stuff tastes like pee. Yeah, Cartman's pee. Ah, you would taste my pee. What the hell's wrong with you? Can't you handle a little alcohol? Christ! Look at that little bastard go! <laughs> now you see that stand out? Now that is a dirty little bastard. Hey, I'm a dirty little bastard too. I think South Park should be considering replacing Kenny after this scene. Get yourself an electric one. I know a scary story. Shut up, Cartman. You can't scare anybody. Oh, yeah? Have you guys ever heard of Scuzzlebutt? Whuttlebutt? Scuzzlebutt is a creature that lives up on this very mountain and kills anybody who dares climb to the top. Why? Because it loves the taste of blood. 
and likes to add pieces to its deformed body. Deformed how? Well, on his left arm, instead of a hand, he has a hook, a knife. No, a piece of celery. Celery? Yes, and he walks with a limp because one of his legs is missing. And where his legs should be, there's nothing but Patrick Duffy. Patrick Duffy? Damn it, Carmen, that's not scary. I'm not even gonna attempt to say how ridiculous that sounds, because I know if Cartman thinks that something exists, then it exists. And I think that Scuzzlebud is probably gonna kill Kenny. That's my assumption. Have you ever seen Step by Step? So he lives alone on this mountain and weaves baskets and other assorted crafts. They say that on quiet nights, you can baskets? hear him weaving his baskets. Kashink, kashink, kashink. Cartman, you suck at telling scary stories. Yeah, give me that flashlight. <laughs> what is that? Maybe it's Scuzzlebutt coming to weave us into wicker baskets. Hey, it might be. Gosh, I hope he doesn't cut me with his celery hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, why don't you whip out the old cancer kazoo? First of all, it's not in tune. Second of all, three strings. A three strings guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, bye, my lord, boom, bye. Boom ya, my lord, boom ya. Boom ya, my lord, boom ya. <laughs> oh lord, boom ya. <laughs> Someone's crying, lord, boom ya. They don't think Scuzzlebutt is scary, huh? Someone's they crying, lord, boom ya. They see how they like it when they actually see Scuzzlebutt. I'll scare the hell out of them tomorrow. Someone's crying, lord, boom ya. Looks like Chewbacca. Ya. Oh Lord, Kumbaya. A very soul penetrating composition. This is what Kurt Cobain would sound like if he was still alive after shooting himself. Stan, wake up! What, dude? I don't know where Cartman is. I think something took him away. Where's my Uncle Jimbo and Ned? They're out fishing with Kenny. With Kenny? <laughs> but, but this is supposed to be my camping trip. Why do they like Kenny so much? Doesn't he like me anymore? Well, Stan, <laughs> you want to know what I think? You what? don't give a shit about Cartman. What a beautiful morning for fishing. There's one. There's a fish right there. Got it. Great instincts, boy. Uncle Jimbo, Cartman's missing. It reminds me a little bit of my Moldovan baptization. It also involves fish and grenades. I guess we better go look for him. Dad, we gotta cut it short. Fire out the 1220. Well, I think that's about the limit for our fishing permit. Oh, man, it smells like dead fish here. Oh, man, that is nasty. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a kid as cool as you, Kenny. I'm making you my honorary nephew. I think being dismissed as a nephew by Jimbo, that's a blessing. That's a motherfucking blessing. The people of South Park are humble and friendly. But now, a ticking time bomb of hot lava waits to engulf these people and end their miserable lives with one last fleeting moment of excruciatingly painful burning agony. Hey, I'm on TV! I'm on TV! <laughs> Mayor, what are you doing to prepare for this inevitable catastrophe? All we know right now is that some of our children are camping on that mountain and... Uh, I'm sorry, can I start over? Huh? Well, you can edit this, right? Ready? Three, two, one. All we know right now is that some of our children are up camping on that mountain. We can't do anything until we get them. Okay, people, let's go get those kids. Come on, everybody. You gotta help the children. Now I think I have a small clue of how South Park elected her as mayor. Christ, Dad, what'd you have for breakfast? I don't know, man. I've got some bad gas. Wait, there's a ram. It's coming right for us. You need a bigger gun. Look! I am Scuzzlebutt, Lord of the Mountains. Behold my Patrick Duffy leg. Mm, what is it? Dude, it's Scuzzlebutt. Carbon wasn't lying. Holy crow! We can make a mint kill in this thing. I still have the picture of that ram in my head, looking like uh, the hands of Jesus Christ. We'll be on the cover of Guns and Ammo. This calls for some HJ-14. <laughs> this guy's totally scared. Burn the hole! <laughs> Holy crap! Is that what they're sending yeah, Ukraine these days? This. What the hell is wrong with you people? Come on, let's move! Move! Wait, wait! Ah! 
Is it on? Okay. Okay, people! Form groups and Shut search the, the mountain! Up. Report back here every hour! You got that? Mayor, I might have an uh, idea. Oh, what? Well, if we can dig a very large trench, we can divert the lava into a canyon. And then it would bypass South Park pretty much completely. But what if it leads to another town? It doesn't matter. And that would be good, uh, right? I'm pretty sure. Well, what are we waiting for? Okay, people, change of plans. Half of you grab shovels. These look like his tracks. He must have gone this way, dead. Prepare some HK-12 and some plasticine. I'll bet that sucker's headed for a higher elevation. The higher up it burn! The higher up it goes, the better it can breathe. <laughs> look, up there. You guys, it's just me. Are we sure it's Scuzzlebutt? Does it have Patrick Duffy for a leg? Well, I can't tell. Let's kill it. <laughs> Gotta get out of this stupid costume. Kenny, you take the front. No, I can do it, Uncle Jimbo. I want to bag that animal. That's the spirit, kiddo. Yeah, now I get it. No wonder Cartman became such a maniac with all of his friends trying to shoot him dead in the first season. As some people of South Park try desperately to save their mountain town, others look for the missing townspeople. But all must take every precaution necessary. Okay, people, listen up. As we near the top of the mountain, the chances of our encountering some lava becomes great. Therefore, I have special ordered this training film to assist us in volcano safety. Mr. Garrison, if you would, please. Harbingers of sorrow, natural disasters can be the cause of troubling and undesirable stress. I love how South Park is still using movies from the 50s to be up to date with the safety standards. The volcano is no exception. But what should you do if a volcano erupts near you or your family? Here we see the Stevens family enjoying a Sunday picnic. But suddenly, Dada hears a noise. It's a volcano. Junior seems worried, but have no fear, Junior. Jane learned in school what to do when you hear a volcano erupt. Oh, goofy. That's right, Jane. Duck and cover. So what will you do when you hear a volcano erupting? That's right. Duck and cover. Duck Looks like you got the idea. Duck and cover. Thank you and goodbye. Okay. Well, I guess JFK also tried to duck and cover. <laughs> that has got to be the most ridiculous load of pig crap I have ever seen. That's Thank enough you, out of you. Thank you, Chef. I'm gonna bag Scuzzlebutt, then we'll see who's a little bastard. Hey, seriously, you guys? Kill it, Stan. Kill it. Come on, Stan. Kill it. Ah, oh, damn it, I can't do it. You pansy. Give me that gun. Hi. Hartman? God damn it, don't shoot me. What the sound hell? <laughs> I was just trying to scare you guys. You can put the gun down now. So much for the cover of guns and ammo. Yep, her. But I think we've learned some important lessons, Ned. I think. Th Whoa! <laughs> That's gotta be the lamest volcano eruption I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh my god! They killed Kenny! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the volcano! Quick, duck and cover! <laughs> that lava is coming right for us! Oh no! Look! What the hell is this trench doing here? So in later seasons, they would kill Getty more sporadically, but here, here it's a very regular thing. And I like it! <laughs> we can't get across! It now looks as if the missing children are trapped in the path of hot, nasty lava. God, please deliver those darling kids from. Wait, 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 wait. Three, two, to and Satan. one. God, please deliver. <laughs> Celery has a hand, Patrick Duffy has a leg. Holy shit, this is man bear pig. Jiminy Poke, it's the real Scuzzlebutt. What? Scuzzlebutt's real? Oh my god, look at his leg. Hi, kids, I'm TV's Patrick Duffy. <laughs> Oh no, out of ammo. <laughs> uh. What is that thing? That's Scuzzlebutt. Yeah, he has Patrick Duffy for a leg and weaves baskets. This isn't <laughs> happening. Everyone look away, please. Nothing to see here. Well, boy, I'm sorry I got you all killed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> 
What kind of a shop class teaches you those things? It's cool as fuck. He's saving us. <laughs> Scuzzlebutt saved the day. And my calculations worked. The lava's following the trench into the canyon. Hmm. Where exactly does the canyon go? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> South Park is saved. A uh, minute of silence for all my subscribers from Denver. <laughs> hey, look! Kenny's okay! And now these humble people can rejoice and celebrate their jovial victory over nature. I'm getting word that the chef of the school cafeteria wants to sing a song about this thrilling oh, struggle of humanity. Mm, baby, every time that we kiss, hot lava. Every time we make love, that's lava. Hot lava. Lava so hot. Mayor, what do you have to say about this wonderful outcome? On a scale of horniness, that's gotta be the least horny song of Chef. Well, we owe everything to this friendly, yet misunderstood creature. Thank you, Scuzzlebutt. Friend! Oh, how <laughs> sweet. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I finally killed something! Oh my god, what has he done? Turn off the cameras! Hey! That was easy! Is, uh... Patrick Duffy, all right? But that little friend from, from what movie is that? No! Why, God, why? <laughs> Damn it, Stan! You shouldn't have done that! What? Why? Yeah, make up your mind, dude! Stan, some things you kill, and some things you don't, see? No? Mm, only now, in this late hour, do I see the folly of guns. Mm, I'll never <laughs> use a gun again. Only in this late hour do I see the folly of guns. <laughs> Imagine being in Vietnam and then Scuzzlebutt is the one to change your view. <laughs> but I just wanted you to that be proud obvious. of me, like you were with Kenny. But Kenny's dead now, Stan, and you're always going to be my nephew. And you just can't kill anything. You understand? Dude, I don't understand hunting at all. Yeah, it's stupid. Let's go watch cartoons. Yeah, cartoons kick ass. <laughs> I gotta mention, this is by far the nicest episode of the first season. It's definitely starting to feel more self parky Although the geologist joke killed my faith in humanity. But let's be honest, my jokes are far worse than that. <laughs> but that was it for today. Thank you for watching this episode with me. Like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you next time. In, 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 you don't like to touch bolts, so I love it. So, yeah, come. <laughs>